All right, so as you can tell, we got the carburetor off the car. Uh, I got to replace the bowl gaskets. The racing additive that I was using uh, has deteriorated the blue gaskets that come in this, and, and I've read that uh, where they say those are, you know, they're good when you first run them, but it's wise to remove them once you start adding fuel uh, mixtures to your gas. And I, I ordered, this here's a, uh, an ethanol, ethanol i'll put it up i hope i'm not killing that kit comes with the red gaskets these are way better gaskets and hold up uh to the fuel where the blue ones decro uh deteriorate and that is what's happened uh i've took one bowl off already i've had this bowl off and looked in there and that is um decided stopped up and leaking and it's pouring fu uh, fluid fluid fuel into the carburetor so it was super bad but the gaskets everywhere inside there so i'm hoping that i can just take some carburetor cleaner and clean it out real good i shouldn't need the jets the power valve there's nothing else wrong with the carburetor it was running completely fine until uh the other day when we was working on the um air to fuel ratios this problem kicked in then that's this is when i noticed it so but uh, I got to get this tore apart, and like I said, I'm just going to hopefully just clean it up real good and put it back together. I shouldn't need none of this stuff, just the gaskets. And uh, so th these right here, the rest of them, the mid plate and all that are good. So I don't see where I would need those. It's just the replacing the bowl gaskets, clean them out, the needles, and the seats. I should be all, I shouldn't need none of this extra stuff. I had to buy it all to get what I wanted, but just in case if i needed these little valves like for the pumps and stuff i don't see where none of this should be bad it's just the gasket come apart in the carburetor and got the needles uh stopped up so or the seats something is stopped up from here to there and pour, letting f fuel bypass so all right but that's what we're going to do today is get that tore apart and uh get this cleaned out and put back on let me get these bows off and i'll show you uh what i'm in You see all the blue down in there, but I did find something just now. I've never had this carburetor part. I have never touched it. And I don't know if you can see that right there. There's a crack right there. Right there in my... So I'm gonna have to replace that. Hmm. But anywho, you can see where the gaskets deteriorated right there. All through there come up. It doesn't look like the pump or nothing stopped up or what I can tell. Because the pump. Pump feels good. Don't feel like nothing's holding the pump up, so that's good there. It's just right in here, and then that's quite obviously that crack. So, all right, let me get this block off. Let me let me go get Papa Bear right quick. All right, just I got everything blowed out real good on this carburetor. Now, like I said, I'm not taking the main body off of it. Uh, when I blew through it, some trash come out a little bit, not much at all. It was just mainly the little blue gaskets, and this paint right here in the center's come off. It's not going to matter, Dad says, as long as it don't stop up the hose. So that's just the finish on the carburetor. And I got the new gasket already here. This cleaned up and the valve body. So we'll see. I got to get a new little. Uh, spot for the jet here i don't understand it's but it has definitely been cracked so not that big a deal i hope the parts house they got some 4150s there so hopefully uh they have some some what i need i'm gonna have to order one so either or but i wasn't too bad like i said i haven't tore this apart i wasn't getting that far into it hopefully i don't have to uh that it's, I mean, nothing was leaking out of none of the other gaskets, so we'll see. All right, well, cool beans. 
let me put this bowl back together and start the other side but I'm gonna have to uh, I'm just gonna leave everything loose on this side here all right you can see right there where this gasket started coming apart it's nasty right there so this side wasn't uh, stopped up it wasn't coming out the top up there like this other side the back the back side was the one that was flooding the car out so this cool beans here we're just still taking this block off going to clean everything out blow it out put the new gaskets back on i still got to go to the parts house see if i can't get the little piece we need for our carburetor and then i'll tighten down the other side so all right well, cool beans let me get this side here this uh block off and uh blow it out and change the gaskets on it because even inside the bowl there's nothing in the bowl i don't know if you can see that there's a little bit just also see it over in the corner that that the phone's picking up just a little bit. You can see a little bit on the float, but the floats still look good. They're still even. You know, I don't, I'm sure y'all know. You can check your floats and set your floats on these carburetors by tilting them upside down and setting the level on it. And then when you get your gas in there, it's going to be at the right level. Uh, but you said you might do a little bit of adjusting, but. I don't know, that's a little tip. That's what I everybody's. You know, when you look these carburetors up, same tips you get. So, but. Like I said, I never, I didn't have no problems with this side or the other one was uh, messed up. So, see a little bit of white gunk right there from that, from the stuff I added that I'm using in here. But overall, man, it's still super clean. But I'm going to mention too, I am no carburetor guru. This is the first time I've tore one of these parts. You see right here, I ain't being dumb. I got instructions. So, like I said, that's just a tip that they passed along to me and I was passing along to y'all. No, right, well, cool beans. Let me get this uh, block off and uh, this blowed out. And I got my bowl put back on here. I like this side. <clears throat> I was going to show you all this. The screws that has the washers go on the bottom down here. So y'all should know that. I'm pretty sure you're tearing them apart. Y'all know more than me. I'm just showing y'all what I'm doing. So I'm hoping I don't mess nothing up. If I do, I get to start over. But it's a learning curve. If you don't do it in you don't learn so anyways all right i was gonna show y'all where i was at i still haven't went to the parts house so i don't know if i'm gonna have to order this piece or not yet so but right there you can see where i got it off uh yeah there's the split right there i don't know if you can if the camera's picking it up but i got to get another one of those and then i will uh can be able to put this back on maybe the parts house has one i don't know i don't see why they wouldn't but never know all right that's it i'm done um i gotta order this jet extender here uh i can't i went to o'reilly's uh, o'reilly's yeah, i did i went to o'reilly's in advance that's what's here and neither of them had this advance didn't even have one of these and uh, they didn't have a 4150 kit either they had a different kit but anyways i don't need to buy a whole nother kit and o'reilly's did but o'reilly's had it in a kit and they don't sell these little extenders by themselves. And this one is cracked, and I'm not going to put it back on. I mean, we'll probably get away with using it, but there's no sense. I mean, we're not racing, and we're not in no rush in no way, so I might as well fix it now. So I'm going to have to order it, get some from Holly, and just order some. So that kills me for today. So I'll throw these up and show you all where I got my kit from here out of Summit, which I guess I should have went to the parts house but they didn't have the ethanol kit that i was needing these are uh, red gaskets those were blue and they're deteriorated so that's why i went with the kit that we went with before it would hold up with the uh, racing uh added that i'm putting to my fuel so anywho all right well cool beans i hope y'all enjoy and this little thing shut us down so i'll holler at y'all taters later and i hope y'all enjoy